we're going to look at what the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to. Now let's just get all our words straight. What do we mean when we say we're talking about the sum of the interior angles of a triangle? Well, the interior angles. Interior means inside. In other words, it's the angles that are inside the triangle. And the sum, it means add them all together. So it's this angle plus this angle plus that angle. That's all we're talking about when we talk about the sum of the interior angles of a triangle. And we want to work out what that is equal to. So basically what we're going to try and work out is if we take the blue angle, the red angle and the green angle, we add them together, what will we get? So what's the blue angle plus the red angle plus the green angle equal to? Now you might already have been told at some stage in your life that this is 180 degrees. We're going to have a little look today as to why that is so. And I'm going to do a little proof to show you why when you add together the blue, the red and the green, all those interior angles of any old triangle, you end up with 180 degrees. And what we're going to use is the stuff we've just been doing around parallel lines. So what I do is I draw a line parallel, this line here, parallel to the base of my triangle. Now, have a look here. This little red angle is alternate to this angle here. And we know that alternate angles on parallel lines are equal. Can you see that Z shape? This angle and this angle are equal. Now if we have a look at this blue one here, we've got another alternate angle on parallel lines here. And so this is going to be exactly the same as this one down here. See the Z shape? Alternate angles on parallel lines. Now this gives us the answer. This shows us where the 180 comes from. Because if you take the blue plus the green plus the red, they're all lying on a straight line. So blue plus green plus red gives me 180 degrees. And so the blue plus the green plus the red is 180. And this is how we know that the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. And so using this fact, if we know two angles in a triangle, we can always work out what the third angle is. For example, if we wanted to know what this angle here was equal to, well, what we'd say is that the sum of all the interior angles of this triangle must be equal to 180. So 150 plus this equals 180. So we know that this thing here must be 30 degrees. Now one type of question they love to give you is a question that combines the geometry and the algebra. So let's have a look, for example, at this question here, where they've given you a triangle and they want you to find out what x is equal to. So we've got to try and puzzle this one through. They're wanting us to figure out what x is. Now x is the size of this angle here. They've told us that this angle here is equal to x plus 30, and we've got to figure out what x is equal to. Now, one of the things that we can immediately notice, you know these little stripes here mean that these two sides are equal. They're showing us they're equal. So we've got an isosceles triangle. So one of the things we can immediately deduce from that is that the two angles at the bottom are equal. So if this angle is x plus 30, then this other angle here must also be x plus 30. Now what we've got is we've got three angles, three interior angles of a triangle, and we know that that adds up to 180 degrees. So we can write down exactly that. We can write down that this plus this plus this is equal to 180. So that'll be x plus x plus 30 plus the other angle, is equal to 180 degrees. And they do like us to give reasons in our, in, when we're doing the geometry. So we can put in here 
the sum of angles in a triangle. That just tells us the reason why we know that this plus this plus this is 180 is because we've got this fact that if you add together any of the three if you add together three interior angles of any triangle you will get 180. Okay so we've now actually moved we can now move away from the algebra I mean the geometry altogether and just into the algebra because now what we're sitting with is an equation and all we want to do is solve this equation for x. So we're going to treat it like we would any equation. We're first going to group together like terms. So we've got an x, another x, and another x. So that's going to give me 3x. And then we've got 30 and 30, which is 60. All right. And now, remember with an equation, we always want to get the x is on one side and everything else on the other side. So we're going to subtract 60 from both sides. And so we're going to get that 3x is equal to 120. And we want to get x on its own, so we're going to divide both sides by 3. And so we'll get that x is equal to 40. So we've solved our equation. We've got what they wanted. x is 40. They could also ask us now, well, tell me exactly what are the size then of each of these angles here. And you can immediately do that because when you know that x is 40, you know that this angle here is 40. This angle is x plus 30, so it's 40 plus 30, which is 70. And then this one here will obviously also be 70. OK, we're going to look at another fact about um, angles in triangles. And um, we're going to come back to this statement. We're going to be talking about the exterior angle. But let's just have a look at the issue first, and then we'll come back to exactly what it says. If you have a look at this triangle here, we know that the green plus the red plus the blue is 180, because we've just established that. Any triangle, add together the interior angles, you get 180. But now, also have a look here. Let's call, let's talk, the, this angle I'm just going to call my exterior angle. We'll get back to exactly what that means just now. But let's see if you can be convinced with me that this green plus the exterior angle must also be equal to 180. And that's because you've got a straight line. So we're talking about angles on a straight line. But that immediately tells me, have a look here, if the green plus red and blue is 180, and the green plus the exterior is 180, this means the exterior must be exactly the same as the red plus the blue. And so the exterior is equal to the red plus the blue. And that is our next theorem, that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to this, the red plus the blue. Let's see what that says in the big fancy speak. What it says is the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. First, let's be clear on what an exterior angle is. Exterior angle is basically, exterior means outside, right? So it's outside the triangle. In particular, what it is, is you take any side of the triangle and extend it. And then if you look at the angle between that extension and another side of the triangle, that's called an exterior angle. So this exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. We know interior means inside. What do we mean by opposite? Well, all we mean is we're not interested in the one right next to it, the exterior angle. Right? We're not interested in that. We're interested in the ones, other two ones that are opposite it, not right next to it. So this angle here is equal to that one plus that one. This angle is equal to that plus that. Okay, let's check the, you've got the idea. Um, open up your booklets. You'll see you've got this little picture in here. You'll see here we've got three different exterior angles shown. Can you see? It's the extension of a side 
together with a side, that gives you your R. Here you've got extension of a side together with a side, there's another exterior angle. Here's an extension of a side, here's a side, there's another exterior angle. What I want you to do now is quickly pause the video and write down what this exterior, these exterior angles are equal to in terms of the interior angles. Pause and do that. Okay, so we know that R We've got to go inside and we've got to go opposite. So we don't want to go to the next, the one next to it. We want to go opposite. So it'll be A plus B. And then if we're going to the angle P, we don't want to go next to it. We want to talk about the ones that are opposite it, which is B plus C. And with Q, we don't want to go next to it. We want to go to the two that are opposite. So it's A plus C. And that's all because exterior angle is equal to sum of two interior opposite angles. Let's do one example to finish. What I find, sometimes we get a bit confused about exactly what the exterior angle is. And this is where I find it very useful whenever I'm doing geometry to always have some colored pencils around because it can help me see through the mess of all the lines here. So if we're asked in this one to figure out what this one is equal to, right, this angle, I know I can just use my exterior angle story, right, because I've got sum of two interior will be equal to exterior. But now, which of these is the exterior angle? Now, I know exterior angle has to be between a side of the triangle and an extension of the side of a triangle. So what I do is I actually have a little code for myself I then take my colors and I do the sides of the triangle I do in red and then in blue I do extensions of the sides of the triangle. Okay, so what I'm talking about there is then I can see immediately if I'm talking about an exterior angle it's got to be between a red and a blue line, right? Anything else is not an exterior angle. So let me show you what I mean. Here you see, I'm coloring in, don't even have to be neat, I'm coloring in my triangle sides in red. Then I know that I've got to color in anything that's an extension of a side. So it's literally going straight out from the side. I'm going to color that in blue. And here again, I've got another one. There's a side and I've just extended it. So I'm going to color that one in blue. This line here isn't an extension of any side. I haven't gone straight on from any side to get to that. So I'm going to leave that black. So now I can see which are exterior angles because it has to be between a blue and a red. So between a blue and a red. This whole thing here is an exterior angle. Between a blue and a red. This whole thing here is an exterior angle. This isn't, right, because it's between a blue and a blue. This isn't because it's between a blue and a black, right? This isn't because it's between a black and a red. Okay, so now I can see I've got my two interior. Here, between that blue and the red, is the whole thing that will be my exterior angle. So I actually have to say the exterior angle is 150, right? It's 80 and 70 put together. It's 150. So what we can then say is that we know that 150 is equal to 85 plus the question mark. And I'll put as my reason exterior angle of triangle. And so then I know that my question mark angle is 150 minus 85. And when I work that out, I get my answer of 65.